Yo, Elliot, how do I bring my male friends to church? I try to lure them in as my three best friends are kind of lost with women, although good looking dudes. And so I tell them truly that in my parish, there are many beautiful women and much less young men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good bait. They all would not approach these girls as they would feel like imposters. They told me that they are decent men, although lost with the modern dating culture. How do I convert them to getting the girl for life or going to church? I want to show them how awesome life and monogamy can be. Also about to propose to my girlfriend next week in Ireland. Not possible without the KT program and my mind shift. That's amazing. Thank you for acknowledging that. Um, you don't. That's my answer to your question. Don't. Don't try to lure them. You don't need to lure them. You compel them. This is my new favorite word. We've been talking a lot about this before. And you compel someone, especially a man, in a few different ways. Number one is through example. It's very compelling for a man to see another man doing really well. And that's why we hire mentors or coaches or people that we look up to. We say, huh, I see what you're doing there. That's pretty amazing. I like the way that looks. How can I do it too? Right? And so with your friends, if you're living the life and you have the fruits, which don't happen overnight, by the way, so they probably don't trust you just yet. But as they begin watching your life and it unfolds and it seems all right and theirs is challenging and they keep failing, there's a possibility, if they're humble enough, that they may come to you and say, what is it that you're doing and how is it that you manage it? And then you say, oh, well, you know, a big important part of what I'm doing is attending mass and I go to church and I remain in a state of grace and I sacramentalize my marriage and my children and all these things, right? I pray every day. I read the Bible every day. I, all these things. And so then they'd be like, hmm, wow, there may be something to that. And maybe or maybe not they follow your lead. The other thing too, with regard to com compelling, being a compelling leader with a man is to just kind of point out to them that how what they're doing is not working. And you don't push it. You just say, hey, I notice. I notice that you keep bouncing from chick to chick and every single one of these girls breaks your heart. Uh, what's up with that? What's, wrong with, what's up with that? Looks like every time I see you, you're still hung over from the night before. Or are you a uh, alcoholic? Right? Ask him. You acting like, a, you, what are you, a drunk now? You some kind of an alcoholic? Right? Get your shit together, bro. Every time I see you, you stink. You smell. You smell like... What is that, vodka or, or whiskey? What are you, a cowboy sucking down bottles of whiskey while you're riding on your horse? What's going on with you, right? Compel, you compel, you compel, but you do it out of charity, out of love, because you know, hey, bro, I know you can do better. I can do better, look at you. You're a good looking guy and you're lost with these girls. Why you keep getting your heart broken, right? All that, all that kind of stuff. The beautiful girls at your parish, that you're trying to uh, hook them up with, don't do those girls a disservice. <laughs> you let those girls alone. Don't, don't bring your bad friends in there to try to change, think that those girls are gonna change your friends. No, no woman is, 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 no man is worth his weight when he lets a woman change him like that. Right? That's, he wants to change himself. One of my mentors used to say that. He said that a man, a man doesn't want to be changed. He doesn't want somebody to change him. He wants to be given the tools to change himself. He wants to be shown how he can change himself because he don't want a woman to fix him. I hear these guys sometimes these guys, and I'm not, you know, commenting on their relationship. Sometimes they're very good relationship, but they they always tell the story about how their woman saved their life, and I cringe every time I hear that. She saved me. She was my rock. I couldn't have done it without her. When I hear stories like that, 
<laughs> Sorry. But when I hear men talk about that, like that, about their woman, I just, I shake my hand, cringe a little bit. I'm like, oh, I feel gross for you. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm toxic. There's something wrong with me. But I don't, first of all, I don't want that. I don't want a woman that has to lift me up. I don't like that. I don't like that idea. I'm the leader. And I sure as hell ain't going to tell a bunch of people about it. She was my knight in shining armor. You really sound like a woman when you do when you talk that way. So don't put your friend in these situations where these girls are going to try to save them. <laughs> they got to and and I, and this is about you and it's about the girls about everything. You can't change the guys. You can only compel them to change themselves. That's it. That's all you can do. And that's saying a lot. You compel them through your example and through your jarring words, your compelling words. Iron sharpens iron, dude. And so that's my opinion on that. Done. <laughs>